The Olympics starting in a week's time for the tennis. It's the first day, I think, of the Olympics is when the tennis starts. Goes for a week, of course. Not worth any points in the rankings, but still very important for a lot of players to participate. But we do have a lot of players that are not playing due to various reasons. Some are injured. But let's go have a look at all the players that are not going to be participating at this Olympic Games. All right, starting on the women's side, and these lists are long. We have Sabalenka pulling out, of course, the number three in the world. Not going to see her there. Von Drusev has also pulled out of the Olympics. That's due to injury, which she sustained before Wimbledon. Jabir also not going to be playing. Keys, Kazakina, Samsonova, Azarenka, Kalinskaya, and Pavlyuchenkova, all not playing the Olympics this year. Kostea, Mertens, Kudamatova, Potapova, all pulling out of the Olympics for 2024. Sharenko, another one who didn't play enough matches for the Ukraine, unfortunately not be able to qualify for the Olympics. Blinkova, she's also decided not to be playing this year's Olympics. Kruger and Volley Nets both not playing enough Billie Jean King Cup for USA, which is a really tough team to get into, but unfortunately they didn't qualify because they didn't represent their country. Avanesian and Raducanu all deciding not to play this year's Olympics. And that is a long, long list of withdrawals. On the men's side of things, the list is just as long with Rublev pulling out of the tournament. Bjerkac also pulling out due to that knee problem that he got when he was diving for one of the balls in his long match against Feast at Wimbledon. So he won't be playing. Dimitrov, unfortunately, didn't play enough for Bulgaria for Davis Cup, so he won't be able to play. Ben Shelton, another player not playing the Olympics this year, decided to go and play on the hard courts of America instead. Manorino, Hashinov, Lehechka, Korda, Tiafo, and Fakina all deciding not to play. Thompson and Jera both deciding not to play this year's Olympics. Kaboli also not qualifying for the Olympics because he didn't represent Italy at the Davis Cup. Kajmenovic also deciding not to be there for Team Serbia this year. Mikkelsen and Pirakas had both not representing their countries in Davis Cup competitions, which means they're ineligible. O'Connell and Rusevori both deciding also not to be at the Olympics for 2024. And the last couple are Nadi, Kazo, and Gaston. Again, not playing enough Davis Cup to get them in and qualified for the Olympics. So some players there very hard done by because they couldn't represent their countries in team competitions to qualify them for the Olympics. So we do have a lot of players that are actually injured as well. It's been a really bad Wimbledon for injuries. And some key names coming into the Olympics. So I'm with Demonor. He's coming in with a hip problem that he got to force him withdraw against Djokovic in that quarterfinal of Wimbledon. Zverev, he has a knee problem. Now, he did play last week, but still struggling with that knee, it seems. Murray's got a back problem, and he wants to play the Olympics as his final event, but at this rate, who knows? Holger Runa, he's actually pulled out the last couple of tournaments due to a wrist injury or a knee injury. I mean, he's had two different kinds of injuries, so he's got a real big concern going into the Olympics. And on the women's side, Vekic, she also had an arm injury during Wimbledon. Did play the semifinal, but did play in a lot of pain so some real interesting names there and some top 10 players i mean there's a lot of top 10 guys on that list that are coming into the olympics with some injuries so there it is long lists of players that are deciding not to play the olympics players that are injured and can't play the olympics but it's still going to be a very competitive event you've still got Alcaraz, sinner Djokovic on the men's side you've still got Sviantek, back in a goff on the women's side, so it's not like we're not going to get anyone playing the Olympics. It's going to be a different event. It's only going to be missing some of those key names. You know, like I said, Sabalenka, Rublev. But there could be some withdrawals as well before the tournament actually starts. It starts on Saturday, which is a weird start for a tennis event. Usually we start on a Monday. Sometimes we start on a Wednesday, but we start on Saturday. Because the Olympic Games ceremony starts, I think it's on the Friday. So it's the first day of the competition. But let me know down in the comments below. Give me some predictions. Who's going to win the Olympics? Who do you think? Personally, Triontech for me, I think on clay, I mean, how do you not go, how do you go past her, right? But on the men's side, I mean, you got to pick Elkres, right? At this stage, but then again, Novak Djokovic wants that gold medal. Is he going to get it this time? It's the only thing he's missing, but there it is. That's the withdrawals, or at least the players that will not be playing at this year's Olympics.